Hi, this is David Kerner. I'm the president of Touchpoint Property Management in Charlotte, North Carolina. And a question that I get asked a lot from my customers is, when is the best time of year to rent my home? So I have a article that I share with my customers, which is called seasonal rental rental prices. And this will discuss summer versus winter market and what to consider. Okay. So the first question would be, when is the best time of year to rent my home? And what I would say is historically the rental market in Charlotte experiences its highest demand during the spring and summer peak season. Most people prefer to move during this time of year, making it easier to rent out a property quickly and at top market value. And the next topic was, what if I have to rent my home in the fall winter market? Because, you know, realistically, you can't always control when your property goes vacant and when you need a tenant. So what I will tell my customers is after August, usually around the time that school lets back in, as the fall and winter market approach, the rental demand in the area does decrease significantly. And as a result, the property supply increases, which gives renters more options. So consequently, properties, rental properties will often remain on the market two to three times longer than in the peak summer season if the landlord isn't conservative with the rental list price and proactive in their tenant placement process. Now, I don't want to be a downer and say that you will not be able to rent your property in the fall or winter. We rent properties in the fall and winter all the time. The only difference is you need to be more conservative and competitive with the price. You don't want to, it doesn't always make sense to try to get a summer peak price in the slower fall winter market. That's what we're trying to uh, convey here. So the next topic is what if my home takes too long to rent in the fall and winter? What, what, what happens? So when a property takes longer to rent, it's end of year, it's, it's end of year profitability suffers due to the lost rental income. Rental income can be a hundred to $2 per day. And then you also have accumulating holding cost expenses that you have to pay, such as your mortgage, your tax, your insurance on the property, neighborhood HOA fees, utilities, and normal maintenance to keep the property up to date. Moreover, if a home sits vacant for an extended period of time, the risk of break-ins can increase, which we do not want. So it's always in your best interest to get a pro to make the most profit at the end of the year is to see the long game, which is get the property rented in one month versus have it sit on the market and lose money by taking three to four months to get it rented. And price is the most important factor in making this happen. So how can I improve my chances of renting my home in the fall and winter months? Well, we tell all of our customers to be realistic, to mitigate the negative impact of lower rental demand in the fall and winter and the longer days on market, our savvy landlords can price their properties more competitively uh, uh, um, in relation to the competition in the slower months. This strategy ensures they attract a larger pool of qualified tenants and secure the next tenant in less time. This contributes to the overall year-end financial well-being of the property. So basically, we want to get your property rented in one month so that you can collect 11 months of rent in that first year versus letting it sit once again, vacant for three months, losing money, and then you've got high expenses you have to pay. There's no financial benefit in holding out for an unrealistic high price in a slow time of year. So here's a important thing to consider. 
how can I realign my vacancy for the spring and summer market so that it's easier to rent my property and get a better price in a shorter amount of time? Well, number one, if you're able to wait, put the property on the market in the spring and summer. But a lot of people cannot wait. They can't control their vacancy. They can't hold out and pay the expenses without earning rental income. So they don't have a choice to wait. They got to get the property on the market in the fall or winter. This happens all the time. So when we rent properties during the fall and the winter months, we always try to secure it instead of the normal 12 month lease. What we try to do is secure a 14 to 16 month lease or possibly an eight month lease. This way, the lease this lease will end in the spring or summer. So when the property becomes vacant and you need a new tenant, and it goes back up on the market. It'll be in the spring and summer where it's the highest demand market. If we can achieve this with the first or current lease, uh, or should I say, if we cannot achieve it in our first lease, we aim to implement this during the lease renewal. When the tenant wants to renew their lease, we do have more leverage because the tenant doesn't want to leave the property. So they may be more open to doing an eight month lease or a 12 to 14 month lease so that when they do move out a year later, it will be in the spring and summer and it'll be a heck of a lot easier to get the absolute highest price that the market will bear. I really hope that this information was helpful to you. If you ever have any questions, about this topic or anything related to Charlotte area rental property management, feel free to reach out to us. Our website is www.touchpointpm.com and our email address is support at touchpointpm.com. Thanks. Have a great day.